it a case of bad news if you're a fan of the global icon that is, of course, William Shakespeare? Hi, good morning. Neil Sean here in the heart of London. Hope you're keeping well. Thank you for your company. And as we already discussed, actually, on an earlier interview, um, I'm a big, big fan of theatre. I love everything to do with theatre. It can be a magical night out. And even bad productions you kind of learn something from. This particular news today just proves exactly how woke theatre has become. And more importantly, what really gets me angry is that a lot of these theatres have been given all of that money during the terrible crisis of the pandemic that's still ongoing to survive. And this is really how they repay their willing and at times very loyal patrons. What am I talking about? Well, Shakespeare going woke, of course. Now, here in London, we have the Splendid Globe Theatre. It's a wonderful piece of architecture and it celebrates, naturally, all things Shakespeare. But here's, as ever, where it gets interesting because the bosses of the Globe have decided, well, they need to go woke to keep in sync. Now, they've put on a brand new production of Romeo and Juliet. Quite how you can change this production is beyond me, but it's a splendid play if you like Shakespeare. As we know, it has some rather, well, dramatic themes, suicide, love, all of those things, of course, that Shakespeare was excellent at. But now they've decided to do this. According to bosses, they've decided to put out trigger information about the content of the play in case it offends, upsets, or really, you know, traumatizes people watching it. I mean, you've got to laugh. Not only that, at the end of the play, they're also giving out the number of the Samaritans. Now, I'm not laughing at Samaritans or anything like that, but the only reason you'll possibly ring the Samaritans are the extortionate ticket prices that they are charging for you to go and see this play. Now, if, like me, as I say, you enjoy all things theatre, dramatics, that sort of stuff, you do ask the question, why is there a need for this, truly? What is all that about? Does it bring attention to the play? Is it a really a clever PR move by the Globe Theatre to let people know they're up and running, back open again, all that sort of stuff? Well, according to a good source there that I called, they said, no, no, this is actually factually correct. This is what we're planning to do. So next time you want to spend your hard-earned cash being lectured and hectored to uh, by someone before the performance begins, think twice if you're heading towards the Globe. Better still, why not just rent the movie and hit them where it hurts by not donating to their cause? I'm not suggesting theatre should be closed, but right now, don't we go to be entertained, not lectured to. As ever, let me know what you think in the comments below. Neil Sean, in the heart of London.